the python hunting. Mm. I think in Florida now, you anyone can hunt a python and you get you get a prize too. Like the, you get money, and you get serious money. Did I don't you know ever if it's like a thousand video? bucks. Or, Huge. Like, where the f is that place? Uh, these species are under a unique threat from one particular invasive invasive species that threatens the survival and the balance of the whole ecosystem and that is the dreaded Burmese python. And you see right there. Florida has come up with an adorable solution to a serious problem. These robot bunnies are being deployed in the Everglades to help control the exploding population of Burmese python. Florida just unleashed an army of robotic rabbits into the Everglades. Their mission, hunt down the giant pythons destroying the ecosystem. What happened next left scientists speechless. These high-tech decoys were designed to lure pythons into the open, but the aftermath was brutal. The robots didn't just attract snakes, they attracted everything. And what researchers found in the wreckage changed the fight against these invaders forever. The invasion that started it. All. The Burmese python has turned Florida's wetlands into its personal hunting ground, but here's what nobody tells you. This wasn't a natural disaster, it was a human mistake. Back in the 1980s and 90s, baby pythons were sold as exotic pets. Glossy, beautifully patterned, small enough to fit in a child's hands. But those cute babies grew fast. Within years, many reached 15 to 20 feet long, powerful enough to take down a deer, strong enough to kill a six-foot alligator. Owners panicked. They started dumping these monsters into canals and swamps. Then Hurricane Andrew hit in 1992, destroying reptile breeding facilities and releasing countless pythons into the wild. For these snakes, the Everglades was paradise. Endless warmth, water, and prey that had never evolved to fear a giant constrictor. With no natural predators and females laying up to 100 eggs at a time, their numbers exploded. It threatens the survival of many endangered species. A single female python can lay up to 100 eggs at a time, and they have no natural predators uh, in the Florida Everglades. The damage has been catastrophic. In python-dominated areas, raccoons, possums, and marsh rabbits have dropped by over 90%. One python was found with an entire adult deer in its stomach. Another was filmed in a death match with an alligator. Both animals died in the struggle. Every solution failed. Florida tried everything. In 2013, they launched the Python Challenge. The annual Python Challenge kicks off tomorrow, and the purpose is to remove the invasive Burmese python from the Everglades. Hundreds of hunters entered the swamps with airboats and machetes. After weeks of effort, they caught just 68 snakes out of tens of thousands. It was a media event, not a solution. They created the Python Elimination Program, paid contractors to patrol at night. But the Everglades covers 1.5 million acres. For every snake removed, two more seem to appear. They even tried detector dogs. Bridget, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission recently began training two dogs to detect a python scent and alert handlers when they've come across a snake. And they just had their first success. Two specially trained animals named Truman and Eleanor could smell pythons that humans would never find. The dogs were incredible, finding snakes in minutes where biologists had searched for hours. But two dogs can't cover 1.5 million acres. They needed something bigger. The controversial experiment scientists discovered something important. Scent was the key. What if instead of hunting pythons, they could make pythons come to them? They ran controlled tests using live marsh rabbits as bait. Burmese pythons have devastated native wildlife in the Everglades. Now, as Wink News reporter Bridget Bruchowski explains, researchers turn to tech, hoping robotic rabbits can lure the snakes out. Protected in secure enclosures, the rabbits became magnets. Pythons appeared one after another, drawn by the scent of prey. These solar-powered robo-bunnies move, emit heat, and soon they'll even smell like a real rabbit. All to fool Burmese pythons into thinking dinner's been served. It worked, but the images of terrified rabbits surrounded by giant snakes sparked outrage. Animal welfare groups shut the program down. They couldn't use live animals. So, engineers decided to build one. Enter the robotic rabbit each. Decoy was a technological marvel, coated in synthetic fur, equipped with thermal pads that matched a rabbit's body temperature exactly. Tiny emitters released chemical compounds mimicking rabbit musk. Some even had motors to make their ears twitch. They were perfect mechanical prey. Each one cost $4,000. 
Hidden inside was a motion-triggered camera and transmitter. The high-tech bunnies move and smell like marsh rabbits. The South Florida Water Management District hopes they'll lure the giant snakes out of their hiding spots so they can capture them. When something approached, the system would alert biologists miles away. Solar panels kept them running for weeks. Scientists deployed 120 robotic rabbits across known python hotspots. The plan was simple, lure the snakes into monitored zones where teams could capture them. The first two days were incredible alerts started pinging immediately. Cameras captured massive pythons, some over 15 feet long, approaching the decoys. A Fort Myers teen has major bragging rights after trapping a massive python. It was all caught on camera. I mean, look at this Whoa. thing. It is huge. It is longer Six than an SUV. <laughs> yeah, it's a whopping 15 and a half feet, that python, and weighs nearly. They flicked their tongues, sensing the heat and smell. Then they struck, coiling around the fake rabbits. Teams moved in and captured snake after snake. It was working. Then day three happened. The aftermath nobody expected. An alert came in from a decoy near a deep water canal. A biologist checked the feed expecting a python. Instead, she saw a dark shape moving fast, a 12-foot alligator. The gator wasn't confused. It saw a warm, struggling animal and charged. In one violent explosion of water, it crushed the $4,000 robot in a single bite. Here's what nobody tells you. Pythons and alligators are ancient enemies. They compete for the same food and territory. Florida had just dropped hundreds of flashing dinner bells across their shared hunting grounds. The alligators kept coming. They destroyed dozens of robots. The pythons, sensing the massive predators, started avoiding the traps entirely. Millions of dollars were being crunched in alligator jaws. The project was a complete disaster. But the robots had a secret. Scientists were ready to shut everything down. Then a young data analyst noticed something strange. The robots weren't just decoys. They were spies. Every motion sensor, thermal imager, and camera had been recording everything that passed by. Not just Python attacks, Python movements, the time of day, the temperature, the direction of travel, by cross-referencing data from all 120 units, especially the ones that weren't attacked, a pattern emerged. The Pythons weren't randomly slithering through the swamp. They were using highways, specific hidden corridors through water and sawgrass to move between hunting grounds. And the alligators used them too, the discovery that changed everything. Scientists fed all that data into a learning AI. Every twitch, every failed hunt, every destroyed robot. The AI found something humans never could have seen. It predicted not just where pythons were, but where they would be at specific times. Around these pens are cameras, and these cameras have uh, AI systems connected with them. It will alert someone like myself who tries to be available 24-7 and then I could you know, deploy one of the many contractors that we managed to go remove the, the python. The AI had learned what the pythons feared. These snakes were moving in precise, deliberate patterns to avoid their only natural predator, the alligators. The robotic rabbits hadn't just found a few snakes. They had accidentally mapped the python's entire secret schedule, their movements, their fears, their hidden roots. They had found the python's weakness. The results were staggering. Armed with this new map, hunters changed their entire strategy. No more waiting at decoy sites, hoping a snake would show up. They went on offense. They intercepted snakes on their secret highways before the pythons knew anything was coming. But the real breakthrough came when the AI tracked large, mature females. It did the unthinkable. It led hunters directly to the breeding grounds. These were massive hidden nests buried deep in the swamp, places no human would ever have found alone. They discovered dozens of females and thousands of eggs. In just one month using this AI map, hunters removed more pythons than the entire previous year of the bounty program combined. The shocking truth. The robotic rabbits were a complete failure as bait. But as spies, they were the most successful tool humans have ever deployed against this invasion. All those destroyed robots, all those alligator attacks, all that chaos, it led to the single most powerful weapon in the war against these pythons. But here's the question nobody's asking. The Everglades isn't saved yet. The pythons are still out there breeding. Did this technology just turn the tide, or did it just teach the snakes to evolve? Let us know what you think below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.